Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number three of Let's Play Quantum Leap CK2. So we are still Duke Carl the Fat of Swabia. And we're totally going to we're totally going to do this now. Let's let's do it. Demand installation of claimant. What you have to say. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded, no matter how many corrupted souls you have enticed. It's no one, it's just me. It's just me. War it is. This is these little provinces versus all of you. So we're going to raise up what we have. And um, he's going to try to rally his troops together, actually. So let us rally to here. I'm going to go down to speed four, probably, because we're actually at war. The Pope has died. Doesn't really concern us too much. Oh, it looks like uh, he's called his brother in. Stupid little nephews. I wonder if we can kill him. He is a child. He's one year old on the throne. We might be able to kill our nephew. That might be considered kinslaying. That's okay. We probably have a large enough army to, to beat them both, really. And we're going to go to straight to the capital. Great Prince Carl, I and a powerful group of loyalists have presented an ultimatum to the Super King Lothair of Lothringia demanding your rule over Burgundy. Wish us luck! What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Your rule over Burgundy. Where's Burgundy? I don't even see Burgundy on the map. Isn't Burgundy like one of the... Uh, it's it's south here, right? It's down here. This is awesome. My cousin wants me to be king, become the king of uh, Burgundy. All right, sweet. Hey, cousin. Can we offer to join your war? So Burgundy. Okay, so he, it's this guy fighting against this guy. He has... My cousin, King Lothair the Great, has two kingdoms, and he's trying to make me the king of Burgundy. I totally want to join your war. Why can't I join your war? Because I'm not independent. Damn. If I win my war against the king of East Francia, I'm totally going to join that guy's war. Took a river crossing penalty, but we have multiple flanks and more troops than they do, so we should slaughter. I become maimed. It's a good sign. And we're, we're losing to 27 men. Awesome. I have one martial score. It's, it's pretty good. Where I come from, that's that's pretty good. He's heading to Nassau. Uh, no, he's going to Mainz. Let's go to Mainz. We're going to auto-balance the unit, though. I'm going to put the strongest one in the center. And we're going to see if maybe we have better commanders. I don't know. We really don't. I can't lead troops anymore. I'm maimed. I'm going to die. Mobs of opportunists and loyal veterans have flocked to the banner of King Arnulf of East Francia to fight against us. What next? Women and children. Well, darn, that's no fun. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention in the first video that the great thing, I'm playing on the new patch, so the event spawn troops are now tuned back to a reasonable amount. So, like, for instance, if we look over at Hungary, I imagine they don't have some stupendous event spawn troops. 8,000 still pretty good, but it's a kingdom. I mean, it's a solid kingdom. They don't have, like, 20,000. Alright, so we're going to try to go to Trier and hopefully we can escape. Looks like nope. We're going to fight here in Mainz. Yeah, so we're not going to win. All of a sudden, these little brats are rallying against us. Hey, would you join our war, cousin? Call to arms. No? Of course I can't call anyone to arms. Can I? I like your enemies too much. Italy, Aquitaine. I like your enemies too much. Maybe. Hey, Italy, cousin. Come help me. Yeah, let's just, just call all the peoples. Call everyone, see if they'll join us. Probably should have done that a while ago. So, the Duke of Thuringia says no. My nephew, the Duke of Franconia, says yes. Italy has declined, as has the Duke of Saxony. And even this stupid count says no. So we gained one. That could have gone better. Then again, I am possessed, and people don't like me. So there's always that. Let's just attach to the AI, because the AI is pretty stupid, and they'll probably run away from me. Why is the Shia? It doesn't really affect us. It would be better if they would attach to me and I could send them around, but unfortunately the AI is kind of stupid. So we have to rely on 
me attaching to them. So we actually have about an equal amount of troops. 1,200 to 1,500. Huh. And we can righteously imprison my wife. Apparently she's acted dishonorably toward me. Now we are losing this war. That battle was not good. Um, we have a count. This count did decide to join. Good. Well, 289 men. That might be enough. How goes your war to make me the king of Burgundy? Huh? He's losing. I'm very disappointed in you, King Duke Conrad the Fat. Duke, Duke something the Fat and Duke me the Fat. We're both fat. We get along splendidly. Uh, apparently I'm trying to kill somebody. I've forgotten who. Oh, the King of Bavaria. Sweet. We actually managed to get some support. I didn't even realize that that had happened. And we, we succeeded. I became a kinslayer uh, for having ki killed my younger cousin. Or my nephew, excuse me. My brother's son. And that's fine. I'm known to have slain a close relative. An unfor unforgivable crime in the eyes of gods and men alike. Which did really help us, actually, because his heir was the king of East Francia. So he uh, just inherited all that land. I'm totally going to kill you too, man. Now that we're a kinslayer, we, we, there's no reason to hold back, really. I wonder if we can convince your wife. Spy master of East Francia, you are the wife, yes? No, she, she actually likes her husband. Unfortunately. And we have a slow son. That's always good. And, uh, unfortunately, by attaching my army to his army for security, he's the one that's actually getting the occupation and getting the money from it and stuff. Now, we should, might as well, I mean, just go all out here and spend out all the money that we have, hire some mercenaries. Now, we have the defensive bonus, but we still lost. So that's fun. And we can't support these troops for very long, so we're going to have to just go right at them. And now the mercenaries have, have <laughs> revolted against me. <laughs> and our son has become honest. So we, we've turned our son into a much better character than we are. But we don't get to play as him, because we only get to play as this character for a short period of time. We're now 39. I'm still maimed. Kinslayer. Duke Carl the Fat of Swabia. Not going to, uh, to go down in the history books as a good character. So, we're pretty much going to lose. Um, would you accept a white piece? I surrender. I lose some prestige. Well, we're not going to go down without a fight. We'll just have to wait. I don't have any money. My, rep my reputation's ruined. <laughs> we're just like, well, fine then. We'll just we'll just kill you, poison you, send my poisoners after him. You know, if he dies. We'll just continue to murder our way through the entire Carling family. Wait, did, did I just see that someone else started another faction? Yeah, look at this. Defending against Count Gunka, Gunkakar, Gundakar of the in Innsbruckian War for Prince Karl's claim on Bavaria. So he <laughs> get another person who's actually trying to get me to win Bavaria. Over here. So that would be this guy is attacking him. So he's actually at war with all this. Like, there's four counts over here who are like, yeah. Do we want to become content? Sure. All these four counts were like, you know what? That guy who murdered the boy, we want him for king. <laughs> He'd be a great king. The good thing is, 
Oh, damn. You got mobs of opportunists again? Yes! Things are turning! <laughs> Look at that battle! In this war over here, we're, we're, they're winning too, and we're not even involved in that. Now, of course, the one to make me king of Burgundy, that didn't work out so well. But these guys are winning! Or are they not? What happened? Aw. The war ended. The war was won by Count Werner of Innsbruck. I'm king! Oh, I'm a king! I see! He won, just like that. How did he win? Did he capture the king in battle or something? Thank you! Count Werner of Innsbruck? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Was this who? This is who did it! It was an eight-year-old! <laughs> this eight-year-old's like, Totally, man, you should be the king! I like you! Wow, that's crazy! Okay, so this is a pretty, um... We'll make the this guy into whatever, and... We'll go... Send you over this way. Scheme? Build, why don't you build a spy network over there? You're a little upset with me? Dishonorable. The fact that I owe money to people. Should improve relations with the Pope just to make sure we don't get excommunicated. He's pretty upset with me already. Oh wow, that's funny. And so now we're still at war with him over East Francia now as well. Like, we could become the king. Like, the overall king. And he's, he's captured my son, Prince Popo. <laughs> Prince Popo. <laughs> they, they caught the slow one. He's a little bit slower than the, the other one. That's, that's the reason why they got him. That is funny. Count of Schwaben. And now that we're a king, we can call... Oh no, it's not any different actually. It's still King Octane. It's fine. But we have, uh, maybe we have some more levies we can raise soon. So I think we're going to end up becoming a double king. Some random possessed duke of Swabia who was fat and possessed and... Oh no! He didn't! <laughs> Darn! I was really liking that character. We were so close to becoming a double king. So King Carl rests in the arms of the Lord at the age of 40. Died a maimed cripple. Long live King Erchinger. Erchinger! So good luck, King Erchinger. Um, we're going to keep the game paused, and let's just see where things left off. So that war ended inconclusively, apparently. And, uh, what, ha what ended up happening? happening? So, my brother became the Duke of Austria, somehow. And he owns this county here. Ooh, it, it, did... Is East Francia already under high crown authority? Is that what happened? Autonomous vassals. How? Why didn't we get this land then as well? Why did my cousin inherit this land? He should have. That was my previous character's land. Under Gavilkind succession, it should have gone to... me. Or to at least to my brother. Oh well. Okay, so that's that. So we're going to save the game real quick. And we're going to now resign. Quit to menu. And since I um, I am recording the, these first few episodes in all in a row, I don't get a chance to hear your thoughts on it. So we'll hopefully not run into an issue. But uh, at least for this time, again, I'm going to random until I get something other than a count. But if you guys think that I should play counts too, then just let me know. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to actually start the game. Force a habit there. So used to just loading it up and getting getting to go. Okay, so we were King Urchinger. Random. No, no counts. No count. Now we get to play as Duke Joffrey of Burgundy. So, interesting. We get to play as a Carling again. This is a young boy, so we might be playing him for some time now. We'll see. He's five. He has 13 troops to his name. Pretty impressive. Uh, we're at war. The Vermandosian War for Duke Gulf's claim on France. Somehow I got involved in that. And war against the tyranny of King Louis the Cruel. So it's me, all of us, versus the Duke of Tuscany. So he's kind of far away. Not really going to affect us much. Uh, these troops, though, I think we just stand down. We're not actually going to mess with any of that. 
Uh, we're going to improve relations with our only Count Duke guy. This guy would actually make a better guy, so we'll do that and collect taxes. What a wonderful court chaplain we have. Let's improve religious relations over in Rome. So it'll be interesting. Let's set um, let's set previous characters as special interest. So King Urchinger of Bavaria, special interest. Just so we see what happens with him. It'll be interesting to see. So okay, before we actually get going though, I'm gonna take a break here, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.